And this is Ken Kreitzer talking business. I have a chance to talk with Trent Taylor of the Caber Group, who's at a ribbon company, ribbon cutting for one of their new properties in, in White Plains, 75 South Broadway. And uh, Trent, you had the mayor here today and uh, for the ribbon cutting of uh, this beautiful new remodeled building. Uh, tell us a little bit about uh, your company and, the, and this building. Sure. The Caber Group uh, started in 2008 as a uh, distressed real estate investment fund. We pretty much saw the opportunity, uh, our partners saw the opportunity in 2007 and 2008 that a lot of office products in the industry would are, are in that time of the cycle where a lot of the owners might have not look to dump any more capital in the building um, and by so a lot of deferred maintenance has happened and foreclosures um, put themselves in a position uh, to make the asset really a, a distressed property and by doing so it gave us the opportunity to buy these assets at a fairly cheap rate um, compared to historical pricing so our our fund launched uh, in 2008 with the Caper One Fund. Uh, we went out and bought um, approximately six or seven assets. And now we are on our third fund. Um, we have office assets, we have multifamily assets, we have um, some mixed use, and we do have uh, industrial. I would say our focus is going to be on, in the future, office and development projects. Um, specifically in uh, transporta transportation oriented hubs, meaning that there is quick access into New York City, whether that be Jersey City, White Plains, uh, Hoboken, kind of that whole gold coast of New Jersey. Um, and we're excited to be in White Plains. Um, we bought 75 South Broadway, um, you know, a few years ago and trying to reposition this asset and uh, you know, the things that are happening in White Plains, we see at White Plains is a strong market, especially the central business district down here. Um, and we're excited to be here, and, and hopefully we can grow here. And Trent, tell us a little bit about uh, uh, when you go into a building, obviously uh, uh, tenants and clients are looking for a lot of modern features, a lot of uh, uh, Internet access and, uh, and bandwidth and other uh, amenities to uh, help them communicate with the rest of the world. Uh, what are some of the features that you put into a building like this? Sure. So it, it really depends on uh, on the building itself. I mean, uh, here at 75 South Broadway, our first focus was to bring up the uh, technology up to today's date, right? So we put in uh, high-speed internet. Um, we worked with Verizon to get um, to get you know digital put in Verizon FiOS um, to really get the fastest data possible. Um, so that was our, one of our first focuses, and then we concentrated on more of the aesthetics, right? So we did a whole lobby renovation. A lot of the, uh, the one thing that if there's a building with tenants in it, the one thing that you can do is really concentrate on the common amenities, meaning the lobbies, um, the, the break rooms, maybe the shared conference rooms, um, maybe if there's a cafe in the building, bring that up. Um, so there's a lot of capital. Uh, that's needed to do some of those projects. But like I said, our, our strategy buying these distressed assets gives us the ability to, to put in the capital and still be at a low enough basis to provide low enough rents. Um, and that's kind of where we've derived our success in, in the office market. Sure. And where do you find uh, the growth in, uh, in uh, potential clients or uh, uh, tenants uh, for a building like this? Uh, uh, what kind of industries do you see uh, growth coming from? Well, I, I mean, you, you definitely see an uptick in market, uh, you know, in the market with leasing. Um, coming back through that cycle of, uh, of the recession, if you will, um, uh, uh, there's, I would say that the medical component, meaning um, doctors, um, nursing schools, and those things have definitely upticked. But we're seeing, seeing it in, in all industries, um, growth and particularly in, in leasing. Now here at 75 South Broadway, what we see you know, is a lot of entrepreneurs here because this is an executive suites business. Um, so we see a lot of you know, ground up entrepreneurs, if you will, that have now gone from their mother's garage or uh, their parents' basement or, or, or an at home at business and then really taken that next step started to lease some space and are growing here. And we see that that 
the Westchester Business Center at 75 South Broadway is going to be a place where people can bounce things, bounce ideas off of each other and really provide kind of a collaborative workspace. Um, and, and we're really excited about that opportunity. Okay, and uh, Trent Taylor of the Caber Group, uh, tell us a little bit about your career. Uh, uh, what kind of things have you uh, worked on? Sure, so, uh, you know, I started, I, I went down, I'm originally from here in the Northeast, I'm from New Jersey, and uh, I uh, went down to the University of Central Florida down in Orlando, um, and loved my experience in Florida, but came back up, uh, was working for a company called the Hampshire Company, it's out of Morristown, New Jersey, um, and my concentration there was more on retail real estate. And I started off as an analyst, worked up uh, into an asset manager and leasing role. And, um, you know, I, I did manage uh, some ground up construction and that type of thing. Uh, my transition over to the Caber Group three years later has been, um, has been great. It's, it's a, a young company in, in its kind of life stage. And the access to the partners directly and, and seeing the future, future there was, is, is something that really drove me to the company. Um, we're doing a lot of multifamily development, um, high-rise towers, if you will, and, um, and that's very exciting. I see that still as a, as a, as a strong product in the market. Um, but my, you know, so really my two career experiences with real estate companies has been with the Hampshire companies and, uh, and with the Caber Group. That's great. Now, how, uh, where is the Caber Group uh, located, and how can someone uh, find out more information? Sure, we're uh, we're in Ridgefield Park, New Jersey, uh, on Challenger Road, which is an office park that uh, we own five of the six assets in the park. Um, if you want to find more information about us, you can go to the Caber or CaberGroup.com. Okay, and that's K A B R Group. Uh, Trent Taylor, thank you very much. Congratulations on uh, the ribbon cutting of this beautiful building here in. Uh, White Plains, and uh, great to talk with you. Likewise, thank you. It's Ken Kratzer, Talking Business.